How's it going guys? Matt here at Beard of Darkness Book Reviews and I'm switching a couple things up guys. Only a couple though. So my format in which I do book reviews, a little different. We'll go over it. And I'm standing up. Nah, not that big of a deal. So a little bit better, uh, different angle of my bookshelf. We gotta utilize the whole thing. It all deserves our eyes. So hey, let's try it out. I'm excited to do this really cool book review. Stephen King's Fairy Tale. Now, Stephen King, as we all know, if you're into books and don't know Stephen King, well, I'll find you under a rock somewhere because that's where you live. But <laughs> as far as his work goes, we all know that he's more of a horror um, author. But my very first book of his that I read personally was a fantasy. Go figure. Fairy tale. Now, he's got another one. Um, the one that I know of, um, there may be more. Eyes of the Dragon. Haven't read it yet. Looking forward to it. It's not a big old chunker like, you know, this guy. But we'll get to that one next. But for now, we're talking about Fairy Tale by Stephen King. This was very captivating. It was very immersive for me. Um, it's not like a hardcore epic fantasy like John Gwynn or a high fantasy like Brandon Sanderson. But it's nonetheless fun. And I think it's fun because it's a personal story. You start with a boy named Charlie Reed. You find out that now, and this is in, this is verbatim from Stephen King. His mother died on the goddamn bridge. That's the nickname because, well, that's where she died. So it becomes the goddamn bridge. Um, so tragedy in his young life. So his father becomes the role model. The father believe his name's Andy. I'm not 100% sure. It's been a little while since I've read it. He kind of falls flat a little bit like we all do. We're humans and he becomes an alcoholic. Um, kind of leaves Charlie to raise himself uh, through this bond that they kind of lose. The family is broken up. You know, mom just died. The, all the weight of the family goes to, to the dad and he kind of drops the ball a little bit. But there's a good side. He finds AA, he, you know, he's sober for a while. And Charlie really starts to look up to his dad again. And just about this time, you learn of a character who is so awesome, just like Stephen King style. Uh, his name's Mr. Bowditch. He's an old grumpy bastard. And he's got a dog. And really, that's all we know for a while. Um, he's that neighbor that's like, get off my lawn. Um, that's my ball now, boy, you know. So we learn through an accident, and this is spoiler free. I want you guys to know that before I get anything. I always spoiler free. We, we find out Mr. Bowditch falls off a ladder and he's broken something. He's yelling. The, the dog is, his dog is a German shepherd. His name's Radar. Great character, the dog. Um, Charlie naturally goes to help the old man. He's a great boy. Charlie Reed's a great guy. I believe he's 17. Um, he's on his way home from school, I believe. Mr. Bowditch has some secrets. He opens up to Charlie because really Charlie's taking care of his house. Um, some other really cool stuff starts to happen. And this leads to some world building, um, some secrets, some twists, and some amazing secondary characters. Now on this journey that Charlie's on, you find a very different sort of Stephen King um, type story. You've got world building, you've got some magic, a very imaginative Stephen King that I've read um, that seems to be his consensus. So this was really refreshing. So not going into too much detail because as you know, this is hard to do as a reviewer to give enough information to entice without giving too much of the story away. So I just want to basically say there's some world building. There's some secrets that Mr. Bowditch has. Um, this is just the tip of the iceberg. So we follow an exciting story. It's got tragedy, loss. You've got family, the tropes, the coming of age story. Also the trope of this boring world has more to offer than what we may have expected at first. Um, along with core values such as family, and loyalty. The dialogue was really good too. Um, so 
I would say that the dialogue is something that sets this story, the fairy tale, um, apart from general fantasy books. Reason being is their vernacular and the part of world building you find in this book has to kind of be learned as you read the book because they have a different way of communicating and even sort of a different way of presenting themselves or the way they look, these characters. and the So dialogue becomes very important. Something also different about the dialogue is, you know, you're reading Charlie Reed's character and he comes across characters that are very, very foreign to him. Um, and most books, it's already translated or spoken very plain and clear to the reader. Charlie, one of his biggest obstacles is understanding these characters he finds. And in, in his learning, we also learn alongside him. Now, that may sound really weird or confusing. Don't let it deter you from reading this book. It, it, it's absolutely not confusing when you read it. Explaining it makes it sound confusing. Now, at the beginning of my video, I stressed that I touched up my review process. Uh, I organized it a little bit better so that it's more clear to you guys. And, and really, you guys are the reason I'm here. I'm here, I want to give you recommendations and I want them to touch your life or your heart the way they touched mine. And um, even if it's a negative review, because gosh, there's so many books on my bookshelf that came from a negative review. Somebody who doesn't like Grimdark may give a really dark book a terrible rating based on their personal experience, but completely entice me. So. High five to all negative and positive reviews. In the end, they're all um, productive. They're all taken into account and useful. I'm gonna go the different part through the different parts of my new review format, and here we go. So, I'm gonna give a one through 10 score for these five different areas. And the first one being emotional commitment. How emotionally involved and how much did I care about whether it's the characters or the plot. How deep did I get? This one in particular, a six and a half. Characters, that's my next one, that's number two. The characters, I'm gonna give, again, this is one out of 10. I'm gonna give that a six. World building, I'm gonna give that a seven because there were definite areas in which could have been more vivid or more explained. It really didn't need to as far as the story goes, but room for improvement, the plot. I'm gonna give this a nine. Best part of the book for me was, and gosh, Stephen King's such a good storyteller. It's where he just hits every one of his books out of the park, the story. Um, part of the story is the plot, obviously. So nine out of 10 dialogue, I'm gonna give that an eight. I love the dialogue, it set apart the characters. Um, it brought you into the confusion of the main character and kind of helped you see through his eyes. What I'll do is I will average the score for a total score, which will also be out of uh, one to 10. Now this brings the total score to 36.5, which is an average of 7.3. And as always guys, if you like what you saw, please like, share, comment, uh, anything that, to interact with the video, the channel helps me grow as a channel. Um, until next time, thank you and stay imaginative.